You know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if all, I'm sure many of you have seen all the recordings that Jake has done, and if you follow his career, it all started back in school when he just loved the instrument, and he would play, and he would get together with friends, they played, he even formed a group at one time. And look who's joining us on stage right now. Ladies and gentlemen, playing with Jake, reunited on this stage right now, we have John Yamasato, Lopaka Colon, with Jake, and remember the name way back? Well, I should have said way back. It wasn't oh, it's that way long, back. man. It's way back. We're so old. Now. They were, oh, they were pure heart. And how about it? They're going to play together a couple of songs for you. Yeah, come on, people, let's hear it. All right. Thanks, all right. It's, yeah, we, I mean, the only difference now is we're just, we're all married with children. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, but it's... Bags under the eyes. <laughs> but, uh, but when we, when we used to play together years and years ago, this was, we got together back in 1994. 1994. When we, first, uh, when we first started playing together, we released our first album in 1997. Mm -hmm. And, um... Jake was my date. <laughs> That's right. John and I went to the sophomore banquet together because we both couldn't find dates. <laughs> That's how close we are. <laughs> we're not ashamed to admit we're not. <laughs> but we're gonna play a couple tunes. Here's a little blast from the past.
for letting Lopaka and I up here. Oh man, no, it's just you know we we, we uh, the last the last time we played together was about six months ago, and that was the first time we played together in what 14 years. That's right. I mean, it's 14 years, and we had so much fun. And uh, and you know when we were when we were banned, we used to play here at the Royce Kuhn Kalele Festival years and years and years ago. So we thought, man, for their 45th anniversary, let's come back and do something. So we thought this was kind of fun. Oh man! Well, we're we're, we're gonna try one. This is this this, this is gonna be tough. Yeah, we <laughs> we haven't done this one in a while. But this is a song that that I actually um that I actually arranged when I was in high school. I was in high school years and years and years ago. Maybe like five or six years ago. And, uh, and it was inspired by, uh, by an old classical piece by Johann Sebastian Bach known as his uh, Toccata and Fugue in D minor. So we kind of took the theme, had some fun with it, and we turned it into a, a more ukulele friendly tune. But uh, now we just call it Toccata. Hope you enjoy this. Next year, you know. <laughs> you folks can come next, next year again. Alright. So, um, Jake may regret this later because uh, I've known Jake since he was like 14 years old. And if you guys want any dirt on him, I'm the guy. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're going to do one more song. Um, I was going to tell the story about, um, remember? One time he tried out for brown bags for startup, and they have a time limit on their song, and he kept going past the time limit, and they actually had to turn him off. <laughs> so anyway, more to come. <laughs> <laughs> 
doing this, putting this event on every year. Truly, truly, I mean, man, what, what a pioneer. The godfather of the ukulele, Mr. Hoysikoma, my teacher, sensei, friend, and mentor. Um, and uh, I just can't say enough great things about him, and I'm just so grateful um, to have, you know, to have been his student, and because uh, this ukulele has brought me so much joy. And, and then I got to meet these great guys. So thank you once again, Jake Shu Girl. John Yamasato, Lopaka Cologne. Enjoy the rest of the show. Come back next year. Aloha. Best Ukulele Festival with all the entertainers. Thank you guys. Thank you, Jake. Come on, people. Jake Shumobukura, the pure heart. Come on, let's hear it. Thank you.